வெல்கம் டு இபிஜி பாடசாலா திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் எஸ் அலகேசன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அண்ட் ஹெட் ராமகிருஷ்ணா மிஷன் விவேகானந்தா யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்கல்டி ஆஃப் ஜென்ரல் அண்ட் அடாப்டட் ஃபிசிக்கல் எஜுகேஷன் அண்ட் யோகா டுடே இன் திஸ் மாடியூல் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி லாஸ் ஆஃப் த கேம் ஃபுட்பால் தி அப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஆஃப் டுடேஸ் மாடியூல்ஸ் ஆர் டு நோ த field measurements to understand the specifications of the equipments used in football to know the officials required to conduct the games and their duties to know the duration of the match and to know about the number of players football is having a lot of rules which includes 17 laws law 1 is field of play in the field of play we have to see the surface the game is played on artificial or natural surface the color of the artificial surfaces must be green when artificial surfaces are used the surface must meet the requirements of the fifa quality concept for football turf or the international artificial turf standard field marking the field should be rectangular in shape there are two boundary lines and the longer boundary lines are called touch lines and the shorter boundary lines are called goal lines a halfway line divides the field into two halves a circle with a radius of 9.15 meters which is equal to 10 yards is marked around the center mark dimension there are two different dimensions for the football field one is a general dimension and another one is international dimension for international matches for general the length that is touch line we are having a minimum of 90 meters and a maximum of 120 meters and the width that is called goal line should have a minimum of 45 meters and a maximum of 90 meters all lines must be not more than 12 cm in international matches the length of the field should have a minimum of 100 meters and a maximum of 110 meters in international matches the width of the play field should have a minimum of 64 meters and a maximum of 75 meters always the lines touch line should be longer than the goal line now the goal area how the goal area is marked two lines are drawn at right angles to the goal line 5.5 meters from the inside of the each goal post these lines are extended into the field of play for a distance of 5.5 meters and are joined by a line drawn parallel with the goal line the area bounded by these lines and the goal line is the goal area next we will see the penalty area how it is marked two lines are drawn at right angles to the goal line 16.5 meters from the inside of each goal post these lines extend into the field of play for a distance of 16.5 meters and the lines are joined by a line drawn parallel with the goal line the area bounded by these lines and the goal line is the penalty area within each penalty area a penalty mark is made 11 meters from the midpoint between the goal post and equi distant to them an arc of a circle with a radius of 9.15 meter from the center of each penalty mark is drawn outside the penalty area flag post and corner arc now we'll see how many flag posts are there and how they are fixed 
a flag post not less than 1.5 meter high with a non pointed top and a flag must be placed at each corner of the field. Flag post may also be placed at each end of the half line not less than 1 meter outside the touch line. These flag posts are optional. A quarter circle with a radius of 1 meter from each corner flag post is drawn inside the field of play that is called a corner arc. Goals, we have to fix two goals at each end of the playing field. A goal must be placed on the center of each goal line. A goal is consisting of two upright posts equidistant from the corner flag post and joined at the top by a horizontal crossbar. The goal post and crossbar must be made of wood, metal or any other approved material by FIFA. They must be square, rectangular, round or elliptical in shape and must not be dangerous to players. The distance between the post is 7.32 meters and the distance from the lower edge of the crossbar to the ground is 2.44 meters that is a width and height of the goals. Goal post, both goal post and the crossbar should have the same width and depth which do not exceed 12 centimeters. If the goal post is 12 centimeter and the crossbar also should have 12 centimeter. The goal lines must be of the same width as the goal post and the crossbar. Nets may be attached to the goals and the ground behind the goal which should allow the goalkeeper a freedom to move his hands. The goal post and crossbars must be painted in white color. Law number 2, the ball. The ball should have the following qualities and measurements. The shape. The shape of the ball should be spherical. The material. The ball should be made up of leather or other suitable material. The circumference. The circumference of the ball should not be more than 70 centimeters and not less than 68 centimeters. The weight, the weight of the ball should not be more than 450 grams and not less than 410 grams in weight at the start of the match. The air pressure, the air pressure of the ball should be equal to 0.6 to 1.1 atmosphere at sea level. Replacement of defective ball. If the ball is having less pressure or ball burst, what are the rules we have to adapt, we will see. If the ball bursts or becomes defective during the course of a match, the match is stopped. The match is restarted by dropping the replaced ball at the place where the original ball became defective. Unless play was stopped inside the goal area. If the ball burst inside the goal area, in which case the referee drops the replaced ball on the goal area line parallel to the goal line at the point nearest to where the original ball was located when play was stopped. If the ball burst or becomes defective during a penalty kick or during kicks from the penalty mark, as it moves forward and before it touches any player or the crossbar or goal post, the penalty kick is retaken. If the ball bursts or becomes defective whilst not in play during a kick off, goal kick, corner kick, free kick, penalty kick or throw in, the match is restarted accordingly. The ball may not be changed during the match without the authority of the referee. Decision of the International Football Association Board. In addition to the requirements of law 2, the following marks should be there. 
फीफा क्वालिटी प्रो फीफा क्वालिटी ई एम एस इंटरनेशनल मैच बॉल स्टाडर्ड इन मैच प्लेड इन एन अफिशियल कांपटीशन आर्गनाइज अंडर दि एस्पीश आफ फीफा द कॉन्फेशन आर द मेबर असोसियशन नो फॉम आफ कमर्शियल अड्वटमेंट शुट बी पर्मिटड आन द बॉल वेर गोल लाइन टेक्नजी इज यूज balls with integrated technology are allowed but they must either be fifa approved fifa inspected or international match ball standard law 3 number of players we will see how many players are allowed to play in the game of football a match is played by two teams each consisting of not more than 11 players and one of whom is the goalkeeper a match may not start if either team consists of fewer than 7 players less than 7 players a no team is allowed to play number of substitutions up to a maximum of 3 substitutes may be used in any match played in an official competition organized under the auspices of fifa the rules of the competition must state how many substitutes may be nominated from 3 up to a maximum of 12 return substitutions the modern rule says a return substitution that is uh, once a player is substituted he can again re enter the game that is called return substitutions the use of return substitutions is only permitted in the lowest levels that is grassroots or recreational games of football subject to the agreement of the member association concerned substitution procedure how a substitution is taking place in the football match in all matches the names of the substitutes must be given to the referee prior to the start of the match any substitute whose name is not given to the referee at this time may not take part in the match to replace a player with a substitute the following conditions must be observed the referee must be informed before any proposed substitution is made number 2 the substitute only enters the field of play after the player being replaced has left the field after receiving a signal from the referee 3 the substitute only enters the field of play at the halfway line and during a stoppage in the match number 4 the substitution is completed when a substitute enters the field of play from that moment the substitute becomes a player and the player he has replaced becomes a substituted player number 5 the substituted player takes no further part in the match except where written substitutions are permitted number 6 all substitutes are subject to the authority and jurisdiction of the referee whether called upon to play or not changing the goalkeeper as substitute during the match any of the other players may change places with the goalkeeper provided the referee is informed before the change is made the change is made during a stoppage in the match the players equipment safety a player must not use equipment or wear anything that is dangerous to himself or another player including any kind of jewels should be worn by the player basic equipments these are the basic equipments which a football player has to wear before entering the field of play a jersey or shirt with sleeves a shorts stockings shin guards and footwear shin guards shin guards are covered entirely by the stockings shin guards are made of rubber plastic or a similar suitable material shin guards provide a reasonable degree of protection colors the two teams must wear colors that distinguish them from each other and also the referee and the assistant referee
each goalkeeper must wear colors that distinguish him from the other players the referee and the assistant referee now you can see in this slide one team is in blue color and another team is in yellow color the goalkeepers are in different colors in this slide the referees are wearing black jerseys which are distinguished from the two teams colors and the goalkeepers so this is very convenient for officiating in the game law 5 the referee the referee or the competent authority to conduct the game and to observe whether the rules are followed each match is controlled by a referee who has full authority to enforce the laws of the game in connection with the match to which he has been appointed the powers and duties of the referees the referee enforces the laws of the game the referee controls the match in cooperation with the assistant referees and where applicable with the fourth official the referee ensures that any ball used meets the requirements of law 2 that is uh, the requirements of the ball the referee ensures that the players equipment meets the requirements of law 4 that is equipments the referee acts as time keeper and keeps a record of the match the referee stops suspends or abandons the match at his discretion for any infringements of the laws what are his powers and duties the referee stops suspends or abandons the match because of outside interference of any kind the referee stops the match if in his opinion a player is seriously injured and ensures that he is removed from the field of play an injured player may only return to the field of play after the match has restarted the referee allows play to continue until the ball is out of play if a player is in his opinion only slightly injured the referee ensures that any player bleeding from a wound leaves the field of play the player may only return on receiving a signal from the referee who must be satisfied that the bleeding has stopped the referee allows play to continue when the team against which an offense has been committed will benefit from such an advantage and penalizes the original offense if the anticipated advantage does not ensure at the time this is called advantage rule the referee punishes the more serious offense when a player commits more than one offense at the same time the referee takes disciplinary action against players guilty of cautionable and sending off offenses he takes action against team officials also who fail to conduct themselves in a responsible manner and may at his discretion expel them from the field of play the referee acts on the advice of the assistant referees regarding incidents that he has not seen because there is a only one referee he may not be able to see all the incidents during the play in those conditions he will get the advice of the assistant referees the referee ensures that no unauthorized persons enter the field of play the referee indicates the restart of the match after it has been stopped for any other reason the referee provides the appropriate authorities with a match report which includes information on any disciplinary action taken against players and or team officials and any other incidents that occurred before during or after the match 
decisions of the referee the decisions of the referee regarding facts connected with play including whether or not a goal is scored and the result of the match are final the referee may only change a decision on realizing that it is incorrect or at his discretion on the advice of an assistant referee or the fourth official provided that he has not restarted play or terminated the match law 6 the assistant referee there are two assistant referees assisting the referee what are the duties the assistant referee has to indicate when the whole of the ball leaves the field of play he has to indicate which team is entitled to a corner kick goal kick or throw in he has to indicate when a player may be penalized for being in an offside position he has to indicate when a substitution is required now the signals of the assistant referee we can see the first signal is the referee is showing the signal for throw in he will indicate the direction of the throw which team has to throw the ball into the play field keeping the flag horizontally parallel to the ground and showing the direction of throw in the second diagram the assistant referee is holding the flag above the head between the hands this will indicate the referee that a substitution has to be carried over during a stoppage the referee will then stop the game and carry over the substitution in the third figure the assistant referee is raising the flag above his head with one hand this shows that an offside has been committed by the opponent team again in the fourth figure the assistant referee is showing three different direction if he shows parallel to the ground then the offside situation has happened at the middle of the field if he shows the flag 45 degree down it was very close to the touch line where assistant referee is standing when he shows the flag 45 degree above his shoulder then it shows the offside has happened on the farther side of the play field opposite to the assistant referee these are the signals given by the assistant referee some more signals we will see in the next slide see now the referee assistant referee is in action he is following the ball to see an offside or a goal kick or a corner kick in the second figure the referee assistant referee is showing the flag and some offside has happened at the farther side of the assistant referee here the assistant referee is showing the flag towards the corner arc that means a corner kick has to be taken in that side in the next figure the fourth official is showing the substitution number which player has to come out and which player has to be substituting and the assistant referee is assisting the fourth official these are the some of the signals and duties of the assistant referee the assistant referee has to indicate when misconduct or any other incident occurs out of the view of the referees the assistant referee has to indicate when offenses have been committed whenever the assistant referees have a better view than the referee the assistant referee has to indicate whether at penalty kicks the goalkeeper moves off the goal line before the ball is kicked and if the ball crosses the line law 7 
the duration of the match. Now, we will see how long a match is played and what are the decisions when there is a draw. Period of play. The match lasts two equal periods of 45 minutes unless otherwise mutually agreed between the referee and the two teams. Any agreement to alter the duration of the periods of play example to reduce each off to 40 minutes because of insufficient light that must be made before the start of play and must comply with competition rules. Half time interval players are entitled to an interval at half time the half time interval must not exceed 15 minutes competition rules must state the duration of the half time interval. The duration of the half time interval may be altered only with the consent of the referee. Allowance for the time loss during the match time is lost for various reasons how and for what purpose the referee is giving allowance for the time lost and how he compensate. Allowance is made in either period for all time lost through substitutions, assessment of injury to players, removal of injured players from the field of play for treatment, wastage of time and any other cause. The allowance for time lost is at the discretion of the referee and is included in the particular off. If a penalty kick has to be taken or retaken, the duration of either off is extended until the penalty kick is completed. Dear students, today we have seen 7 rules of football. We have seen the surface and the measurements of the field of play including the goal post, corner arc, corner post, everything. Then we have seen the specification of the ball and the number of players, then the equipments, the basic equipments used by the players, then the referee, assistant referee and the duration of the match. So, in the next module, we will be seeing the rest of the rules. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.